Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Star Maid. Uh, last episode we finished up laying out our military district. And then this episode what we're going to be doing is working on our uh, new ship which is going to be some type of mining barge or uh, something along those lines. So it's going to have the cockpit off to the side and then kind of a center area uh, I think this power core here that we're setting up is actually going to run the length of the spine of the ship to give us kind of an optimal power setup. It's going to be a rather wide ship compared to the others, which is fine. A little bit less on the tall side. And I'm using the power to kind of uh, lay out our first basic shape and set limits on the structure. And that'll hopefully help us keep in some sort of uh, standard shape and size. So let's see how much power is that generating. That's about 18,000 a second. I have a feeling we won't need a whole lot of power generation, which would be good, but I will put definitely a bank through the middle there just to increase our total limit to 78,000, it almost doubles it. And then at this point, we'll just throw on some thrusters, keep widening out our shape here. So let's do a small engine bay on this side and then a, I guess a longer engine bay there we can pretty much just do a nice solid box for these Right. And I'll tell you what, we'll we'll round this edge off. Something like that. Mixed in something like that, I think. That'll, I think, do us for that shape. Try and combine them here, see if that looks any cooler for us. Yeah, that looks all right. And then at this point, let's go ahead now, I don't know how I want to handle this exactly in terms of laying out our mining laser and things like that, but it's definitely, in my opinion, best to lay out some sort of pattern to where you're hitting, almost like casting a net of lasers out to hit a wide range of area. So let's see, this is actually the center of the ship, roughly. So if I were to say bring these out like so, all the way, yep. don't want to fly off just yet, and the ship is moving. That's, that's a little weird to try and build on a moving ship. So we can do something like this. easy enough for our first kind of spread of lasers on here. And then we can count out, I guess, 10. I think 10 will be a good number. Maybe half of it, exactly. Let's see here, 10, 
just cut it there. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is making a nice pattern that'll cover all the gaps and make us a really strong laser. So let's just bring that up like so. It's all right. Yeah, just uh, just all right, I think. And then over here as well, we'll need it. Got to make sure, you know, none of these are touching on their sides if you want them to shoot separate beams. And so that is the core of our great kind of salvaging beam, you could say. Now at this point, let's go ahead and add a computer to it all. I think back here is a good spot for it. I think I hopped out of the ship by accident. There we go, let's select our computer with C. And then just hook it all up. Normally, you would probably lay down the computer first, but I'm doing it this way because I wasn't 100% sure on how it all will look. Wish there was a faster way to highlight things, almost like in a brush like manner. And I don't think there is, so you guys are going to have to excuse just the clicking noise for a little bit. And sadly, uh, it might not be wide enough. I might have to take the barrel and make it another two wide or so. Nice thing, we'll be able to put some items inside these no wasted space, which will be a good bonus to doing this shape. Let's see, there and there. And then I need to hook up these barrels. Oh. You'll probably also notice over time that I prefer doing multiple specialized kind of rolls rather than doing everything at once. So that's a nice steady beam. Our power supply holds up fine. Now what I don't know is, and what I kind of want to try, is I don't know if adding a secondary computer really helps at all with salvaging or not. Like, it's, it's just one of those things you're just not sure on until you try it. I haven't heard anything or haven't even looked up anything about it yet. So let's just check out our weapons here and add no. So apparently not. It does not stack in that manner. Would have been nice because I think it would have made the recharge time a little less or something like that. Let's go ahead and add our next row here. There we go. here as well. Uh, does this not fit here? I think it does. Am 
All right, hop back in, check our power supply. That was good. Salvage doesn't seem to require a whole lot. I'm gonna go over to these asteroids and just check kind of our capabilities, how quickly we can dr drill through some rocks. Just looks like a floating arm at the moment. So let's uh, point out some rocks here. Yeah, it's not doing too bad just yet. I mean, it can definitely get some mining done. Still probably a little on the weak side in terms of just area. If we just had more space, we could probably do this even better. Like, you guys can picture, I mean, if we just scale this up probably about five times, um, you know, you could probably take out an asteroid fairly quickly. Let's see, did we get anything from that? Plenty of lucra, a bunch of ore, and some crystals, so. It works, it works for the most part. And it is, you know, a little bit better than our previous one for sure. Go ahead and hop back over here, just in case we need to purchase anything. All right, so let's see here. Oh, I got out of the ship. I need to get back into build mode. There we go, turn on lighten mode because we're not really near a sun. So we have a decent shape of some kind going. I wouldn't mind making this twice as wide, really. Let's see. Copy. Whoa. I don't think I copied right. I think I just placed a block. Copy. How do you, no. How do you pick an area? I don't understand that. Because I would like it to work. Nope, that's just taking chunks out of my ship. Which isn't what I want either. Alright. So let's just use this gray hull for now. is just a temporary uh, designation for our cockpit area. I wish you could kind of move the core after you built parts of the ship so you could actually move it to a different location. In fact, I feel like you can do that now. I could be wrong though. I could be way wrong about that. Yeah, no. That's too boxy. Way too boxy. That's okay. If I slope this, in line with the rest of the plating that we'll be adding on. I don't think it will look too bad. So the basic paint job on this ship, it's gonna be red and have these utility kind of caution hazard armor pieces. Kind of holding large sections together. So we're just going to fill in some area. Do seven blocks. Rotate this around. 
You'll probably also notice that we're going to be doing a lot of off-camera work this episode. Which is fine. You guys shouldn't have be forced to really sit through all of this every time. Let's see, I need the upside down version. That's okay. I might have to draw, uh, get different shapes to kind of curve this in interesting ways. But it's going to be a lightly armored ship for sure. But I can definitely do uh, some pretty cool stuff with the hazard armor to kind of create breaks and the basic lines. Doing things like this shape will do plenty. So yeah, we're already at like 16 minutes or so. And so I'll be back once this thing's all put together and I can showcase kind of its full capabilities. So, be back in just a moment. All right guys, so this is pretty much the final design or uh, first pass that I wanna do on our new mining barge and it looks okay. Uh, there's a lot of little details uh, compared to say the other ships and a whole lot more, I think just layers in general which work very well. I'm glad I was able to work in the, uh, uh, what are these, scaffolding blocks, because it, it makes it look a little bit more industrial. Same with working in our caution taping and things like that. You have to ignore the ugly camera locations for now. I'm not 100% sure what to do with the cockpit, considering the design changed a little bit since you guys last saw it. Um, the ship got a little bit wider and more symmetrical down uh, the center axis. And so this whole thing became a little obsolete initially. And I'm pretty sure the only way to move a ship core is to load it as a blueprint into a shipyard. And then edit that blueprint and then save that blueprint. So that's just something uh, to keep in mind going forward it's just you have to be very mindful about your ship core and really probably build out from that rather than trying to do what I just did because the sizing of things does change um, but yeah no it, it looks good go ahead and just kind of fly over is there any asteroids near here uh, I guess not we'll we'll just jump on over to our home world because I'm pretty sure there are some asteroids over in that direction that we can use to just do some generic tests um, it's definitely the biggest ship that we've built so far I don't know if it's gonna fit in our hangar at all um, luckily the hangar's not built so those those sizes can change easily enough do I really not have any asteroids here? None at all. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing asteroids around our planet. Uh, let's see, asteroid. may have to fly towards the nearest shop. Um, actually, since we're at the planet, I'm just gonna go ahead and test to see if this even fits in the spot we've cut away for our hangar. And I have to say, approaching our base from outer space so far is looking pretty good. And you know, once we keep adding modules and areas, the whole, Station, I think will come to life for sure. No, I am on the left side, so I need to keep that in mind when I'm trying to fit this thing in here. And how well does that fit? It actually fits. That's good. It's definitely pushing the limits of uh, 
the main doorway, but luckily it's not very tall, so it can fit into uh, some pretty tight spaces, which is great. It's a little front heavy, it doesn't sit flat, um, but I can fix that. That's just putting a block at the back end, really, more than anything. So let's just take this thing up. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Just leaving the planet in general looks good. Let's see, I don't see any asteroids here, so let's... If I remember correctly, there's asteroids at this one. I haven't tested the laser since I added even more uh, beams onto it. I added probably about four additional blocks in terms of width, so we are going to be cutting a wider path through asteroids and things like that. We definitely have a whole lot of extra energy to spare. In fact, a lot of the internals are empty because for what we're using it for, it doesn't need to be really any more complicated than this. Uh, felt like we weren't really starving for room, but combat modules you feel, and shielding, uh, I could probably fill it with shielding in case we get attacked by NBC pirates or something along the way. Let's go ahead and hop views over to the front so we can see the lasers work. There we go. And we'll just mine away. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're, we're taking pretty good sized chunks out of the asteroid. I'm sure there are people that have made definitely more efficient things, but I think for its size, um, this, this definitely manages. It's not that bad at all. Um, it, it can definitely cut away large swaths of real estate. And I mean, just a whole fleet of these would easily cut through an asteroid field like this rather quickly. So I think I think we're on to something. We're definitely on to something. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the episodes, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more gaming goodness. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to name the thing. Cause I just kind of named it Generic Mining Barge, but to be honest, I'm kind of liking the name Manta Ray for it because the, the mouth of it kind of reminds me of a some type of the uh, rays that are out in the ocean. Um, but you guys can let me know if you like that name or not. And check out my other videos. Follow me on Twitter. Leave a like, dislike. You know what to do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.